Hello everyone. Uh, in today's episode, uh, I'm going to reassemble uh, the 5150 and I'm going to start by uh, placing the CPU board uh, back in the housing. So this is the uh, metal housing of the IBM 5150. I've uh, removed everything in order to clean it. Now that it's clean, it's time to put the board uh, back in. So remember, I already uh, created a video about the CPU board. So if you haven't watched it, uh, you really should watch it. As I'm discussing uh, different chips on the board. So anyway, uh, the first thing uh, that you should do is uh, identify uh, what's uh, what is the back side of the board? Uh, so this is. These are the two connectors for keyboard and cassette. They will go um, on the back of the housing, as these connectors uh, will be available in the back. So uh, this is how the board should be placed. Now notice on the other side of the board. Uh, there are these uh, plastic things and uh, they should align with these holes here. Uh, they uh, should enter uh, on this larger uh, side of the hole and then uh, the board should slide uh, slowly and uh, become locked in place as uh, the plastic uh, things get in here. Okay, so uh, I will try to do this. Also, uh, be careful as the board should go under this metallic part. Okay, so now it uh, should slowly uh, slide into place and it is now in place. The screw holes uh, must be aligned so there is one here and there is one uh, here and now uh, because of the uh, plastic things uh, the board uh, is uh, kind of fixed here. Actually I think didn't quite uh, get here very well. Yeah, so in my case has a small defect here. I don't know how well it shows on the video. So I will just turn it around slightly and uh, try it again. Okay, and uh, this time uh, it's fixed. And now it uh, remains only to add the two screws. So I have a small screw here that comes here. Uh, 
and another screw here. so this should be tightened but make sure you don't break the board so don't overdo it okay so that's it uh, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time bye